Why do we not confront sin in others' lives? I think sometimes it's because we think they'd be prideful of us. Now, who are you to talk with someone else about sin in their life? Don't you have sin in yours? God is saying the exact opposite. God is saying it is arrogance for you to sit back and leave someone else alone in their sin. Like I mentioned earlier, hatred toward that person to watch them walk off that ledge. And hatred for the church as a whole. Listen to verse 6. So your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? The imagery here, something that seems small, infiltrating and affecting something that is so large. A little bit of leaven in bread makes the entire loaf of bread leavened. So if I could use an illustration for where we live right now, one person affected with a virus can spread to an entire group of people really quickly. That's the imagery here. And God is saying, when you are casual with unrepentant sin in the church, it spreads in a way that's now not just dangerous for that person, it's dangerous for the entire church. Because now the entire church starts to think unrepentant sin is no big deal. Maybe take another example. A woman in your company who is overtly dishonest in her business dealings and she is advancing in the company because of it. She has no regard for integrity. She is ruthless and cutthroat, getting rich off devaluing and outright destroying people around her. So what do you think when you come to a church and you see that woman raising her hands in worship to God and everyone around her saying, this is a follower of Jesus? You think, I don't get it. You're certainly not drawn to that church. And far more important, you are not drawn to Christ. Non-Christians actually expect the church to be different. Non-Christians actually expect the church to treat sin seriously. That God calls the church to treat sin seriously, not just for people's salvation, as if that wasn't enough, not just for the church's good, as if that wasn't enough, I would say ultimately God calls us to do this for His glory. So that His character will be clear in the people who claim to belong to Him. For Christ Our Passover lamb has been sacrificed. Jesus died to save us from our sin. So let's live in that. Like this is who we are. This is what it means to be the church, to celebrate salvation from sin by the blood of Christ who gave his life so we could be free from sin's power. So live in that freedom and encourage and call one another to live in that freedom.